Good morning, and God bless you. I'm reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse number 14 in the King James Version. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion had light with darkness? Praise God for his word. We yesterday um, spoke about love and righteousness. And that was an amazing revelation that the more you love righteousness, the more you are able to live as an embedded righteousness. The righteousness becomes fixed into you when you love righteousness because everything you love, you know, become uh, part and parcel of you. And this, that's the scripture said we should detest or we should hate wickedness or detest lawlessness. And so to draw into righteousness, you have to hate or detest lawlessness and righteousness. Here today, this scripture, Apostle Paul is asking that in order to have a right living in support of our right standing, because those are two types of um, righteousness. Uh, our righteousness that is imputed is our right standing. Why the embedded righteousness, that is the righteousness you begin to practice, is right living. So it's not enough to have right standing, there must be a right living. This is one basic thing Apostle Paul think we should have um, if you are going to have a righteous lifestyle. Um, this scripture is asking us to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And um, I think um, the Amplified Version put it better. It says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Do not make mismated alliance with them or come under a different yoke with them inconsistent with your faith. All right. So it's not just unbelievers as those who are not Christian, but anyone who is not consistent who is not in the same level of your understanding of what righteousness is, the, the scripture is asking us um, to give them a distance. You can be righteous seen around people who do not believe in righteousness, who do not love righteousness. Let me put it that way. So one of the best ways to live righteously is to be in a circle of people who love righteousness. Um, life is all about influence. Let me say that again. Life is all about influence. What you are now is the influence of the close circle people in your life or close people in your life as exposed to you to. Who you are close to, what you are close to, where you go, what you do, all of them contribute to um, your conduct. So if your conduct must improve, you have to check the conduct of people who are close to your life, people you um, you drawn to. Influence um, understanding. There are three things that happen to your close associate, either to you or to the people you are close to. Three levels of um, influence that you must check if you want to live a righteous life. Number one is called conformity. Conformity is what makes you want to do things that um, people around you are doing. It's just natural, subconsciously. If people keep lying around you before you know it, you want to lie. If people keep telling the truth around you, you just conform um, with them, all right? You just want to be like them. Then the other part of influence is what we call compliance. Compliance is um, a bending to requests from people around you. Somebody asking you to do something directly. It could be your pair. And um, you, in a way, you don't know how to say no. And, and that's why uh, the, the kind of people that are in your life are very important. Is that you are conforming or you are, com you are complying? Or the other part is obedience. Obedience here is like compliance. In the, but the obedience is different. And the father, obedience is a force who is higher than you. You know, compliance is people who are at the same level with you who is asking you to do something uh, negative or positive. Uh, you have a way of bending to them. Or the worst is when you have somebody who is higher than you who is asking you uh, to do something. So it's going to be difficult for you to say no because they seem higher. Maybe your boss or the people who are higher than you around you. So the circle of where you, the people you surround yourself with or the circle of where you live or where, what you do could influence your righteousness. And this scripture today is asking us that there, is, there shouldn't be any relationship or any commitment or any partnership between righteousness and lawlessness. So if you want to 
Live a righteous life. You have to be careful the kind of people you expose yourself to. The contact to your Facebook, the contact to your WhatsApp, the contact to your phone numbers, or to the kind of environment you've um, created yourself to live. I'd like you to hear what the scripture has to say concerning conformity, compliance, and obedience. That's Romans chapter 12 and verse number 2 in the TPT version. Stop imitating the ideas and opinion of the culture around you. King James said, do not conform to this world. So you are conforming, you are compliance. Before you know it, you're just trying to imitate. Like the scripture put it, stop imitating the ideas and the opinion of culture around you, but be inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total information of how you think. This will empower you to design God's will as you live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in His eyes. So if you want to be perfect in God's eyes, you have to be careful the kind of people that you surround yourself with. Who is your best friend? Someone said, I will show you who you are. So if you have a righteous people all around you, righteous lifestyle may be difficult for you. It's true you are having a right standing, but you won't have a right living. And God doesn't want you to have one without the other. God has given us right standing. He wants us to have right living. And give or take, if you are around people who are righteous, who, who does things that pleases God, you're going to find out consciously he's going to rub on you through conformity, compliance, and obedience. So I want to ask you, who are the people who are the best, the closest people? How do they reason? Are they having a right standing or also having a right living? If they don't, over time, even those very important things, principles of yours, may be compromised with time. That's why you, you should be the one that guard the kind of people you associate yourself with or you live with or you talk with so consistently. If you want to have the right lifestyle, there are people you need to block and take out of your space. Are very important. There are people you have to get out of their life or you take out of your life in order for you to live a righteous life. I want to encourage you to be bold enough, to be strong enough to take decision to stay on the righteous side. And also there are people you need to bring into your life if you want to be living righteously. Association has a way of robbing. If you see somebody living right, yeah, you need to get closer to them because it will help boost your power to be able to say no to what is wrong and also to say yes to what is of God. I want to encourage you to do your best to do a good check on who are the people influencing me. Where am I getting negative vibes from that is not making me living right? when I already have a right standing with God. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.